Welcome to the review of the Moto 360. It rolls. So first things first, we gotta open the box. Slowly, next surgery. Ta-da! So inside the box, you will find your obvious Moto360 Moto smartwatch. Set that there for a sec. And if you can manage to get this out, you will find charging cable, about a meter of it, and a wireless charging stand. Cool thing about this, you just set the watch on there, boom, starts charging. So the, the first thing that I wanted to mention, set all that aside, is the fact that most people complain about the battery life of this thing. I can say that the first couple days I had an issue with that. Um, after a couple charges though, I've been using it frequently and I have not had a single issue with battery. It's been staying above 50% for most of the day. Last night I think I had it at 26 after a vigorous day of use. I, I just, I don't understand that part of the complaint. Um, Google works amazingly on this thing. My microphone's a little dirty right now, so can't really do much with it. There's a lot of different mode settings that you can, modes and settings you can use. And the one thing I definitely love about Android Wear is the ability to change faces. Right now I have it set to digital. I had it set to rotate earlier. There's so many faces. So completely customizable. Um, each face has a different layout. Like this one right here has small cards and the dates at the bottom. The only problem with that is the update cards actually cover up the date. So if you're trying to look at the date on your watch, you have to swipe down on it. It looks kind of funny when you're swiping at your watch a little bit, but the cool part is you look sophisticated because you got a circle, circular screen on your fa on your watch or on your wrist instead of that big bulky square that Samsung made that I don't like. So my first impressions, I put this thing on Christmas Day and I was like, ooh, it's a little heavy. Um, I did notice that the bezel is, if you turn it on, you have that, because of the chamfer on the bezel, you have, I don't know what to call it, but you see little rainbows, rainbow pixels all over the place around the edge. And that did annoy me for the first day or so, day and a half. Um, another thing I did notice is that the Horween leather band looks really sharp. Um, the whole thing in, in, as a whole looks sharp, but especially the real genuine leather looks amazing. Um, I would not say that this is a perfect watch for everybody because it looks just about right on my humongous wrist. So I, I almost, when I put it on my girlfriend's wrist, it was, it was just way too big. Um, that, the charger... I don't know what the specs are on the charger, I haven't done much research into that yet. It's just a wireless charger, you simply click, plug that into a wall, set the watch on it. Not that hard. Um, also in the box you will find your Safe Smart Protected Motorola user guide. If I can get it out of the box, quick start guide. Now this is for all of us tech savvy guys, kind of dumbed down. Step one literally is power it on. Did you try turning it off and back on again? Um, there's actually an Android Wear app that you have to download onto your phone, but that with the Moto 360, that does not complete the setup. With on this on my Samsung Galaxy S4, I had to download Motorola Connect. It small app, not much to it, but you have to finish the setup if you want to customize your faces with the Motorola Connect app. So about two days in, I was still using it very frequently. Haven't had any problems, like I said, with battery life. One thing I did notice is that is works some of the time. Not all the time, but some of the time. Like right now I can't get it to 
If we wait about 30 seconds, it might turn on. That's the problem. The accelerometer in it is a little bit finicky. I hate to use the word finicky, but a little bit finicky. The Moto Fit app works wonderfully. If I, have, I have to hold my arm still for a sec. You can see it's taking my heart rate. For those active people out there, this is fairly accurate. I tested it with an actual heart rate monitor that I own. If you put it on the bone of your wrist, it will not figure out, it can't figure out your heart rate. So, oh, very still. Can't take your heart rate while you're running. It won't do that. Aside from that, like I said, so many customizable wash faces. I've actually, I've played around a little bit with the app, the uh, Motorola Connect app. I really like it. The one thing that most people will complain about is the fact that all the electronics for the screen are down here, and so you get this little dead area. I've seen a lot of people complaining about that, a lot of people who own this watch. It doesn't really bother me personally, but that's person to person, it will change. Um, aside from that, I really love the watch.